The definition of a compound is two or more elements chemically bonded together. In this video, we're going to learn about how to name compounds, and specifically, we're going to look at compounds that end in the three letters I, D, E. On the periodic table, each element is given a symbol. For example, the symbol for sodium is Na, and the symbol for chlorine is Cl. If sodium and chlorine were to bond together, they would make a compound. However, you can't just put the two words together and call the compound sodium chlorine. That is not how we name the compound. Instead, we change the three letters at the end to ide. So when sodium and chlorine bond, instead we would call it sodium chloride. And all the compounds that we'll look at today are those that end in ide. So let's have a look at a few more examples. In the first example, we're given Li, and if we look on the periodic table, this stands for the elements lithium, and we're given O. Ignore any numbers at this stage and just look at the letters. When lithium bonds with oxygen, it will make lithium oxide. In the next one, we've got magnesium bonding with oxygen to make magnesium oxide. We would name this compound by looking at the two elements, sodium and fluorine, and this would be called sodium fluoride. Next, we have sodium bonding with oxygen to make sodium oxide. In this example, magnesium is bonding with sulphur to make magnesium sulphide. Calcium here is bonding with oxygen to make calcium oxide. And finally, calcium is bonding with chlorine to make calcium chloride. So you'll notice that all of the compounds end in ide in these examples. And you need to have your periodic table handy to be able to name the elements remembering each element starts with a capital letter. So you'll know that magnesium is the element to look for because it's got one capital letter and then a lower case. And then oxygen is the next element to look for because that's the next capital letter. I'll finish by looking at three more examples of compounds that end in ide, but these are just three specific ones to remember off by heart. Carbon bonded with oxygen makes carbon monoxide. Again here below we've still got carbon bonding with oxygen but this time there's two oxygens and this is called carbon dioxide. So to make it clear because it's still carbon and oxygen bonding together to make it clear that this one is the one with just one oxygen they put mon in front because mono means single and to make it clear that this is one with two oxygens, they put the di in front. You might be able to guess what this one's going to be called because it's sulphur bonding with two oxygens. And because it's two oxygens, this one is called sulphur dioxide. There are compounds that have different endings that I'm sure you'll come across later on in the course. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSErevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos, as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.